Hey, the shit that hit the fan. I mean, it already hit the fan in the jump, but now it ain't got man. When uh at the end, Leon, we uh we, what he killed Scully niece. Was that that was his niece, right? Denise, yeah. Was it niece or was it his daughter? I can't I, I can't remember if it was his niece or his yeah, daughter. I can't yeah. remember. I thought it was his niece, but I could be wrong. It might be his daughter, but whoever it was, bro, hey, it's on now. Like it's it's it's, okay. it's going down, bro. Like and, and that, that I think that shit gonna uh it's it's in, it's gonna shake Leon too. Yeah, yeah, and you and you kind of called this. You kind of called this in a couple episodes ago when you were saying like somebody had to die, some some got to change, some got to go. You know, what I'm saying this yep. that, 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 that pivot, this kind of like that pivotal point of the show where everybody's not gonna make it out. Like somebody, somebody have to go, some got to go down. And with that happening, anything, how, how all this kind of led up to just those decisions where you know, uh, uh, Franklin getting shot, come back, the, the, the distributors going ham at each other, Leon yep. tells him to get in it. And he's like, nah, I gotta do something. He go out and he make a he make a call. It blow up yeah. in his face. And now they're going out for the hit Leon. And Leon, you know what I'm saying, being the person of the year, he'll hit her and he the muscle and he don't want to be a part of Franklin organization anymore. They come and try to hit him. And it just now it's just yeah. like a snowball effect where everything is kind of happening, you know, one step at a time from one decision to the next. You know what I mean? So that was just a, even a good thing for for Wonder, you know what I'm saying? The Wonder to even be in the position to let him know because he could possibly be dead. You know what I'm saying? Start because yeah. the show kind of the show started off with you know him going to the taco stand, Wanda trying to sell. Yep. He got the little feelings, and I think he feel kind of responsible for for Wanda in a way. You know, there was his old lady at one point in time, and then he started hustling the crack. She get she get she, she get hooked on it, and he still kind of got those like ah oh, man, I kind of I did that to her, and so yeah. you see her, he still kind of soft on her a little bit. You know, he still kind of soft on, her, and that played a play played a role in him her saving his life. You know what I'm saying? Because he was gonna get got it. You know, Scully had already scoped him out. Scope them. He didn't even see it, see him coming. He didn't even see it coming because Scope, Scully and them had already seen. He's like, all right, man. They already sat on me like, hey, man, they're gonna go get this spot. They're gonna eat here. Yeah. We just gotta wait on. And then all yeah. of a sudden, Wonder just happened to be at the right place at the right time to save their life. Yeah, I mean, they they because they was the Leon, uh, Fat Boy, his bodyguard, Fat Boy, all slipping like they all up in there, all up in the taco stand looking, trying to order what to eat. Somebody should have been 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 looking at the street, right? I feel like. Somebody should have had their back toward Leon, looking at the street like, "Hey, because we had, you know, hey, you know, Scully out there looking for us." Yeah, because Franklin told him like, "Hey, man, y'all need to lay low." Oh, and you know what I'm saying? He's like, "Man, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do me," you know, basically. And so I think that's his. I think that's a, a lot where the ego come in. You know, if he just kind of like, you know, dial the ego back a little bit and say, "Hey, man, we got a situation where it's affecting both of us." You know, I know you got caught up in this war now. That's affecting both of us. Let's figure out how we can come together and and then let's end this. And then I can we can go our separate ways. But instead, he's like, "Man, you gonna go do you? I'm gonna go do me." But you know yeah. what I'm saying? He man, this man gunning for you. He gunning for you, even though he he don't know you that you're not a part of the organization no more. But he knew that you were a part of it at one point. So he gunning for you because he think you're still on the team. They still on the team. Yep. And, and Leon, like you said, Leon, man, that's what I feel like. Why I made Franklin good because he had Leon on the squad. Leon was a nigga. He like like we like we said before. Leon don't really be about that. About that. Uh, I'm not gonna say he don't think like he don't think, but. He ain't about that uh, finesse. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't got that finesse. He gonna go. He ain't, he ain't about that big business. Yeah, he ain't about that. He gonna he gonna go. He gonna he gonna he gonna tear. He gonna shoot everything. He gonna shoot it. He gonna he gonna let everybody know I'm here. And and, and this you know it's gonna go down. How it's gonna go down. And man, and that's and that's and you see how you know at the end, man, he's sitting there waiting at his grandma's house. They pull up. Man, it just broad daylight, and they just they 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 side by side like a, like at a stoplight. Yeah, let them, let them go. You know, I've been talking about that scene. You know, they've been they've been showing that scene for like the last couple of weeks and kind of just teasing it to it. And you just wonder, like, you know, how does it happen for them to just stop it? And then all of a sudden, you see the ice cream man kind of coming up. Ice cream. See Leon, you kind of see Leon kind of feeling something ain't right. Cause as you hear the bells of the, if you as you hear the bells of the uh, the ice cream man walking by, he kind of like looking, kind of seeing, he just like he like he kind of scoping things out, and then all of a sudden the, the guy kind of cut in front of the car and then stop, yeah. and you're like, oh shit, it's about to go down right now. And then he look over like, man, there they go right there, you know what I'm saying? Like right there. So and then, and then I was just trying to take a step back. I wondered what they were trying to do. Were they gonna try to kill Scully when they saw him on the spot, or were they gonna try to you know walk him down, try to see what he's gonna do? What like they didn't really? I don't think they really had a plan what they were gonna do when they saw Scully. 
you know what I'm saying, at the house because they was intending on, you know what I'm saying, scoping out the house, watching them. But were they gonna run up on them? Cause they thought it was, they thought it was the, the stash spot too. They thought it was what he was stashing. Right. Were they gonna try to run up in the house? You know what I'm saying, get them or what? They, they, you know, cause they, I don't think they really had a plan when they was there because- They, they didn't, they were just loaded, they were just loaded down. Yeah, big boy ready to go. He like, man, he ain't come, man, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So big boy ready to go. So it's just kind of just take a step back. Like they not really, like I said, when Franklin, he kind of had, at least Franklin have a plan to try to do something. They just yeah. don't, they not thinking, they just doing. Yeah, they just doing out of emotion. They think out of emotion, which I understand. Like you said, he he feeling that uh, Wanda got, you know, first of all, they came for him. You know what I mean? He's like, okay, they came and try to take me out. And then, you know, Wanda, who he got feelings for still, yes. almost uh, get shot. You know what I mean? So he, his, his emotion, his emotions on 10 right now. Yep. You know what I mean? Like he ain't even thinking, even when Franklin come to the hospital, like, hey man, Cause then Franklin said, "Hey, you about to go to the bottom? Just start shooting shit up." And he was like, "Man, didn't Leon cut him off? Man, what you want?" Yes, I thought. And then when I saw that scene, I thought that you know, even when I saw the shooting, I was like, "Man, this might be the the moment that they kind of come together, come back together." You know, what I'm saying at the hospital, I was like, "Man, this might be the moment that they, you know, okay, let's let's we, let's squash what we got going on for right now, so while the war going on, and let's try to come together and figure out something." But instead, Leon still on his ego trip, like, "Nah, man, you know, we're gonna." It's based on I felt team. Leon on that though. I agree with Leon on that part because remember, Leon said, "Man, I told you, you the reason they coming at me." Remember but he said it's too it's too late for that. I told you so. It's too late for that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you made the decision. You know, he made the decision to walk away from from Franklin. He goes and make a decision to try to make to, to better make his business, and then it it fall it blow up in his face. Now you like we two steps removed from that. Now it's like, hey, look, you either come get get with me, let's figure this out, or you know what I'm saying? You get got out there by yourself because he wasn't moving like he was in a war. Like Leon hasn't been moving like he in a war. Like it's a war going on out there. He's thinking it's it's a Franklin yeah. war when it's not really a Franklin war. It's a yo. It's a it's, it's your yeah. war too, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he's been moving in a way that, you know what I'm saying, it's war going on in the streets because he's just been kind of just moving around the city, doing, looking for, trying to find a new plug, keep going. Don't think nobody's out to get him as well when yeah. and Franklin already told him what the deal was. Like, hey, look, man, you need to lay low. Yeah. He told him. That, hey, the one thing about that nigga Franklin though, that nigga don't listen, bro. That nigga do not listen, bro. Like even he always, it's like all he see is the dollar signs. Like, talking about let's expand. Drone, like, bro, you, you, you really try to do this right now. But you, you know what I mean? We, but you got to. But think about they move at eight million a month. And then you got to think about taking another step back. You got to think about it. He already went sent down, he went sat down with Reed. And he's like, my fate basically tied to the war. How much longer we got with the war? So he like, man, look, you know, if I if the war end tomorrow, we're pretty much done. So he like, in his mind, he like, look, man, I gotta put my I gotta put my foot on. I gotta put my foot on the gas. And we gotta go, you know what I'm saying, get go go make some more money, kind of get out, you know, spread our wings, kind of get in more cities. You know, we got right, but what happened? What happened if Scully come to their mama house? Like, bro, like like I'm like 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 Jerome, like, yo, this is happening right now. Like this, this is affecting this could, you know, potentially in everybody's life. Cause he gonna he gonna just like we said what he what he did with Leon, whoever associated with Saint, he he trying to take him all out. So and, and Jerome like bro like you talking about expanding, but we got this nutcase over here. He he ain't, he's shooting at everything moving that, that that got anything to do with Franklin Saint. He's shooting at everything. So I'm like hey man, I'm with Jerome and like like bro we got to handle this this dude right now. Because one time he not gonna keep missing. He not gonna keep missing. He gonna hit somebody. Somebody gonna go, you know. But the way you do it, you already lost you already lost a soldier. So what you gotta go do? You gotta go find new soldiers. So you gotta expand. You can't keep, you know what I'm saying, running the streets with the with the couple of soldiers. And he already know Jerome, and you already see that Jerome ain't about that life, really. He just wanna go sell speakers. So what's right. the point of, you know what I'm saying? What's the point of having bodies around you and you ain't really got no soldiers? So they gotta go out and try to find new soldiers, and that's how you protect yourself. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be, you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have people, bro. You gotta have, you gotta have different cities. You got maybe they go pull some people in and they try to move to Arkansas. It's gonna take them a little while to get up off the ground. But what if you go, you know, shove yourself in Arkansas, you're like, hey, look, I need somebody to come into the city. We got some problems, we need some, we need some out of town to come in. That's how you when you see the mob movies or some of the most gangster movies, they go right. when, when there's some real heat in the street, what they go do they go bring them out of towners in. Let's go get this hit. Go go get this hit for me. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be able to, you know, you gotta be able to see beyond the war. You gotta be able to see beyond what's going on right yeah, now. Yeah, but you know, you know Franklin don't be a, Franklin ain't sending no hit. Franklin's scary. Franklin's scary. Look, he tried to go talk to, what's his name? Talk to Davis. Talking about, 
what is that his name? That ain't his name. Uh, De- what's his, what's the, what's the, the real estate guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real estate dude. He gonna try to talk to him and do the long route. But I think that's more his mama play though. I think that's more his mama play. You know what I'm saying? That's his 